Welcome back to my 2200 Grom. So I picked this bike up just over a week ago. As soon as I did, I ordered quite a bit of parts for it, but unfortunately I had to go on some business travel and I'm just now finally back. It's killed me though over that last week to see the notifications coming across my phone of my garage door being opened as my awesome neighbor has been pulling in my packages that have been stacking up on the front door. But today I've got two things that I want to install. One is the Yoshimura USA RS9T full exhaust. Exhausts are one of the first things that I always upgrade on new bikes just by the way that it looks and of course also the way that it sounds. I'll also do some sound testing so that you can hear the difference between the stock exhaust and the new Yoshimura exhaust. Uh, I also plan to get this on the dyno. I don't have enough miles yet on the bike that I really feel comfortable fully pegging it on the dyno. Um, Cameron Jones did a couple of videos and it showed that they were actually picking up about a full horsepower um, with the Yoshi pipe. But I will be doing some tests both back with the stock exhaust and the Yoshi pipe so we can see what kind of baseline we got. I ordered the Yoshimura pipe from Steady Garage. They also sent me some of their custom washers that they're designing for this bike that I saw at that uh, Birmingham small bore event that I think really sets this bike apart. I've heard some mixed opinions about these uh, washers. Some saying that it almost looks like it's highlighting a diagram, but I think it gives that bike a pretty cool industrial look. And these custom ones that Steady Garage put together, I think look particularly awesome. So the exhaust install should be pretty straightforward. I think there's only three mounting points here at the head, one at the mid pipe, and one holding it to the end of the rear sets. This is the full exhaust. They also have just a slip-on um, that goes um, after the cat, but I opted for the full exhaust system for a couple of reasons. One, I think it looks kind of cool. It's got this weird bugle-like shape. I assume this is to effectively add length to the exhaust without making it longer than it needs to be. Um, I'm not sure how effective it is or isn't, uh, but importantly, it does come with the O2 bung so that you can run a wideband O2 sensor for uh, air, air fuel ratios, which I'll definitely be needing as we start to upgrade the engine on this bike. For just the exhaust, I, I don't have any tuning stuff yet, but I don't think it matters much. Uh, it will once we start doing big bore kit and different fuel injector and intake and some of those other bigger things. But this is the main piece that bolts straight on. And then here's the can itself. It's got this really nice matte finish carbon, uh, both the tip and as a heat guard here. Let me do a close up. So once we have the main pipe on, this will just slip on back here. The kit also comes with a set of uh, springs to hold it on, as well as the puller and a few other uh, stickers. And also the O2 wideband plug, since I don't have a wideband sensor for now, I'll just be plugging it until I do. And then these are the custom washers that City Garage sent me that they built in-house. Uh, I don't think they're on their website yet. I'll link to their website for now, and once they have a direct product page, I'll link directly to it. This is the raw finish. I believe that's also coming in silver and black. Uh, the install here is obviously very simple. It's just a matter of backing these Allen keys out. And uh, it also comes with a stainless steel nut to complete the look. But I'll have some detailed pictures of this on the bike as soon as it's finished. And before I pull off the stock exhaust, I also wanted to check how loud the current one is so that we can compare it to the Yoshimura once we put it on. So I have a decibel meter over here, two feet from the exhaust, like I've tested for some of the other exhausts that I have in my garage. Let me uh, go ahead and fire this up. We'll see what it's like at idle and also throw out some revs. Uh, I don't want it to get too hot because I need to pull it off here in a moment, but we'll see what type of numbers that's making and then we'll uh, throw on the Yoshi pipe, see what it sounds like, and then also how loud it is. So I'm not sure if that's capturing it on camera, but it's looking about 70 decibels. Me talking over here seems to be louder than the exhaust itself. So that's showing a max of 104 decibels, 104.6. Uh, I have a feeling that the Yoshi pipe is going to be quite a bit louder. So uh, let me let this cool down just for a second and then I'll pull this off the bike 
swap on the new one and we'll see what that one sounds like. So that install was super easy. It really was just those three bolts and then those two springs. I probably could have put those springs on before I mounted the exhaust onto the bike, but honestly, they were pretty easy to access from the other side like I showed in that video clip. So let's fire this up, see what it sounds like at idle and then see what it sounds like when we throw out some revs. Definitely a much throatier, deeper sound. Uh, no longer quite sounds like the sewing machine it was. A few decibels higher than it was. Again, just me talking over here though is still louder than what the uh, mic is picking up from the exhaust. So let's see what it sounds like when we throw out some breaks. So that sounds much cooler. It sounds actually throatier than the monkey. There's definitely a weird burnout smell. I think you need to go through some heat cycles to clean all of that out. And I wasn't pegging it all the way, but uh, at a similar throttle as the uh, stock exhaust, I'm getting 116 decibels, which I think was about 10 decibels higher than the um, stock exhaust. I'm not sure what the math is, but I know that's significantly louder um, because of the logarithmic scale of the way decibels work. So anyway, really happy with the way this looks. Let me throw on those washers now from Steady Garage. So I pulled the first one off and you can see it side by side. It's actually just uh, painted plastic and this one being billet aluminum. Anyway, let's get them all on the bike. So I just have the first three on here now, but I think it's a much better look than uh, the stock one that came on this bike, which is just a silver painted piece of plastic with a big black screw. This all machined aluminum with a stainless steel uh, screw, I think looks uh, much nicer. So I'll go ahead and get the other three on this side and the six on the opposite side, and we'll take a look. So both of those installs were very straightforward and simple. I think the Yoshi exhaust looks fantastic and it sounds great. I can't wait to start riding it around. And these custom washers by Steady Garage, again, I think really set the bike apart and is one of the things that made me fall in love with the 22 Grom when I saw uh, Steady Garage's bikes that they had there at that show. So thank you very much Steady Garage for supplying me with the parts that I installed today. Again, a link in the description below to their website. I've got a lot more stuff coming and actually some of it that's already here like handlebars, uh, tail tidy, and some other goodies that are on the way. So thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and keep on building.